Hey guys, welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video, we want to replace strings within a CSV file with numbers, and then print out that print out a new file with those numbers. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is import our pandas library, and in order to do that, we simply type import pandas as pd. Next, we want to create a file handler for our CSV file in read mode. And the CSV file that we're going to use is here. It's under datasets cars, car.csv. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. So if we take a look, and we can see the columns called buying, maint, doors, persons, lug underscore boot, safety, and values. So let's go back to our program. And I'm going to create a variable called file underscore handler. And we want to open that CSV file that we just looked at, which is located under data sets slash cars slash the name of the file, which is car.csv. And we want to open it in read mode. So we just do, we just type R there. All right, next thing that we want to do is create a pandas data frame and we want to use the read underscore csv function or method that reads from a csv file all right so in order to do that uh, first we need to give our data frame a name our variable we're just going to call it data and we're going to set it equal to pd.read underscore csv and we're going to input our file handler and it is separated by commas all right next up we can we can really close our file handler so here i put close file handler and in order to do that we simply type file underscore handler dot close Okay, now let's take a look at our data frame. So we can just say print data because data is our data frame. And I'm going to go ahead and run our program here. All right, and it may take a little while. So there we go. So we can see our data frame. It has 1728 rows of data and seven columns. Now, what may not be immediately obvious uh, is that the columns doors and the column persons are both, uh, or they both contain string values. So, although we see the number two here, if we look further down for doors, we'll see a string called five more, and then for the column persons, although we see a number two here as well, if we look further down, we'll see some data, a string called more. All right, so every value in this data set is indeed a string. Now, um, this is clean data already, so there's no missing values, and we already know the, the values for each column um, in this data set. So, that's very lucky for us. So let's go ahead and change one of these columns values from strings to numbers. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of our print statement here. And what we're going to do is we're going to traverse through the buying column of our data frame and we're going to write the values where our conditions match and we're going to write we're going to write the conditions um, I'm going to show you guys it won't be too complicated all right so something else that I need to put here are the values that are contained in the the buying column so I'm going to put buying values. 
Okay, and so those values are low, med, med for medium, high, and v high for very high. All right. Okay, so let's get our data frame. So we have data dot. Um, we want our column, which is buying, and we want to set it equal to one when our specific condition is met. So whenever we see low, I'm going to set it to one. So in order to do that, we could just say data dot buying. So when data dot buying equals equals low, then that column becomes one. And now to save some time, I'm just going to copy and paste this four more times because that's how many values are within this column. And we're just going to change up these two values here. So the next one is medium or med. After that, we get high. And then the last one, we get v high. All right. And the numbers will be one, two, three, and four. So now we print our data frame by typing print data. We should see this column here, the buying column, change to all integers. So let's go ahead and run this. And give it some time. All right, there we go. So now we see that our buying column has changed to all integer values. And we can do the same thing for every other single column here as well. As long as we know the values for each column and that there's no missing data, uh, things like that, we have to make sure that our data set again is clean. All right, so we now have replaced that, pl replaced the strings with integer values. So let's go ahead and uh, export out our new data set as a CSV file. So we want to write the data frame to a CSV file. Now in order to do that, we can simply type data dot to underscore CSV. And we need to give this new data set a name and provide the location of this new data set this CSV file that we're creating. And I'm going to put it under the same location here. So it's data sets slash cars. And now I need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it car underscore example dot CSV. And you can see that that file currently does not exist here under cars. So let's go ahead and run this and let's see uh, hopefully that it gets created. Okay, so now we have car underscore example here. I'm going to go ahead and open it and let's uh, get a little closer. All right. And so what do we have here? We have under buying, we have numbers now. So we have the number four. Uh, we continue to scroll down. We'll get to number three. Let's see. Eventually, there we go. So we have the number three. Uh, we can keep going down. We can see the number two. We can see the number one. And it appears that every single value in that column has changed to a number. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will be sure to put this program and the data set both on my GitHub. And I'll put a link to my GitHub on the description below in this video. And if you really enjoyed this video, please share it. Please leave likes. Uh, hit that subscribe button, leave comments for questions, and thanks for watching again. And as always, guys, I will see you all in the next video.